Hey guys, so I've got some really big news. Recently, I just finished my sketchbook. It is the sketchbook I got for my birthday, and it is very thick. I've been using it for a long while. So I'm excited to show you guys what it looks like. On the spine of it, I wrote sketchbook with a metallic marker and there's a bunch of like sparkles on it. Then I just used a bunch of stickers and decorated the cover. I didn't do this stuff until I had it for like a long while. The cover was blank for a while. Then I made some stickers and put them on here, but they got some water damage. So I had to take those off and place them with this. Back when I first got it, I used my markers to color all of the pages on the sides like this. So in the beginning here, I just have all my markers swatched out. Then I wrote a bunch of YouTube video ideas right here, like before I even had a YouTube channel in case I ever did have one. Here's my welcome page that's supposed to be me. And I'm holding a Niffler and a wand, say welcome. And it says sketchbook started July 3rd, 2022. Sketchbook finished January 17th, 2023. If found, please draw a picture on a blank page and contact blah, blah, blah. First page. I took one of my books and like looked at the cover of it and just drew what I saw. I originally drew this, but I didn't like it, so I just covered it up with sticky numb. I do that a lot in the sketchbook, so then I just drew that. I drew this as a sketch originally, and I drew this as well, and I decided to go back and color this. There was like a lot more white to his eye that I accidentally colored in, so I remember being like so upset that that wasn't there anymore. The next was this. I made this on the 4th of July. I love this drawing. It's so cute. I'm kind of like envious of my old art style that used to look like this. I just like tested out something with the layout here, then drew the flag, planned out her outfit, and fireworks. I was originally going to have the character like holding a jar full of fireflies, but in the end I just decided to like make them like flying around here. I thought it was cute because like it, it looked like so organic like a, it was a polaroid picture that's why i like left those edges like that i wanted to make it look like she was like at a party or something and like i think it's cute that like one of her socks is falling down this i think i saw something a video on how to do this sort of thing it was like so much fun to make this too i drew my dog and i wrote who needs humans when we have dogs that's funny Okay, bunch of doodles here with some like watercolor backgrounds. That's cool. Then here I drew my old OC. Don't remember her name at all. Haven't drawn her in quite some time. And underneath this, I covered up all mistakes because I was like playing around with my art style and these look so cringy. Like, I can't even look at these. They're just so weird. Oh, wow. That is quite something. And here's her trading card I made. Don't have anything on the back. And there's some glow and dark stickers on it. And here, I just have a page full of sticky notes in case I needed to cover anything up. And I have this page bookmarked as well. For a while, I would draw like little doodles like this octopus with seven tentacles. And I'd just leave them in random places. Like if I went over to somebody's house, I would just like leave it in a bathroom or in the entryway or something. It was fun to do. I'm not sure if anybody ever found them. Cause like I asked somebody about it once, like, hey, did you ever find the sticky note I left at their house? Cause like when I went back there the next time it wasn't there and they were like, no. So I'm not sure what happened to that. Here was some fan art. I drew this on a coffee filter. I just like taped this in here because I didn't know what to do with it. Then for this, I took some paint and I globbed it all over the paper. And then I took some plastic wrap and just like smeared it all. And right here, I've got my brother's fingerprints because like he thought it was dry. So he touched it. I was like, no, but it's not that noticeable. Okay, 
So this, I took my glitter pens, which I love so very much. Drew a bunch of globs and it, like made things out of it. And the this was probably the most fun part of my sketchbook. Just to do this one page, it took me like almost the whole summer. And it was like so much fun too, because I'd bring my sketchbook everywhere with me, like literally everywhere. So if I got out of the pool and I wanted to draw, I'd just do one of these things. And there's a lot too. There's an elephant, a funny face, a squash, a lantern, a dog, a cobra, a llama. I love this so much. A singing seahorse. I love that one too. Starfish missing an arm, blah, blah, blah. Two snakes hugging. Worm doing the worm. Bunny creature surfing. This is like my least favorite one. And the hot dog and squiggle ghost. Oh, and this cat. I like that. And the fudgy cat too. Those are both really cute. Okay. This was the first YouTube video I ever filmed, but I never uploaded it because I was like so upset about how it turned out. I was doing a one marker challenge. This was the mark I randomly got. And I was like, it was a water-based marker. So I was like trying to use it as like watercolors for this. And it, it just, it was like supposed to be a mermaid with a dolphin, but I just do not like how it turned out because like everything smeared with each other because I didn't wait for anything to dry. Oh yeah. But this, this is cute, like this page, but then when it came to this, it was just, it just didn't turn out good. One of my many forgotten OCs, her name is Josephine, I wrote a whole story for her and everything. She was basically this mermaid who wanted to be a pirate, so like her entire life, she was like searching for this pirate ship she saw when she was little. Then some dragons. I remember thinking this one was really weird. I loved this one, so I wanted to like just make that one stand out, so I put that in the background. And I haven't like thought that my sketchbook looked pretty bland, so I was like trying to spice it up a little, I guess. Oh, here I just did some squiggles and turned those into things. Pringles man wearing a weird hat. Yeah, these ones are all really strange for some reason. Like the headless snowman in a car. Some of the cutest little drawings are in here. Like the turtle, the T-Rex crying, and the cutest dog. It is the cutest dog. Like, that is so adorable. And here drew a dog wasn't a huge fan of it so i drew some dogs i looked at in pictures here oh i was so happy with this page because i was like if i can do this i can do anything because i was like so happy that i did pen doodles i've never done one of those before and then like used some markers i don't know why i gave her pink tears that's kind of weird and right here i had another one of these but bigger and like more finished and i tore it out cut it out to make it all finished and i've got it in the back of the sketchbook in the pocket so you see that later here i just drew a random person i guess and i just stuck it here i tried to take the dogs right here and make it into a puppy like so that it was detective friends this one I was so proud of. I showed this to everybody, like literally everybody. And I was like so happy with it because it was like a mushroom girl and this was like the best face I've ever drawn. And I actually su succeeded in drawing curls. So I liked that. I was playing around with my art style. So I was drawing me in different styles. This was just regular me, different, different, and then cheesy me. This was one of the scariest days of my life. So I went fishing and I was like trying to reel up the one fish for like 30 minutes, just pulling it and pulling it. I thought that like it was a small pond that I was fishing in, so I thought that the fishing pole was just like stuck on seaweed or something because it was like the heaviest thing ever. I reeled it in eventually after like forever and this huge catfish, it was 
attached to a different line, like somebody else's line, that was attached to mine, which was attached to a glob, like, bigger than my head of seaweed. And it was terrifying because I do not like catfish. They are so scary. So I redrew him. I named him Charles. Charles the catfish. He will forever haunt me. It was terrible. We couldn't even get the hook out of his mouth. He's still swimming somewhere with a hook in his mouth. It was scary. Okay. Then here is a Bible verse covering up a bunch of cute doodles. My uh, um, cousin was telling me what to draw. Like, I was trying to, like, take three animals and mix them into one. So here's a cat or made unicorn. Here's my dog's face. Then here's my cousin's dog mixed with a dragon mixed with a dinosaur. Then here was that. I hated that. I just like, like months later, I just drew an eye there. And then here are my OCs, not my drawing OCs, but OCs for a book that I'm currently trying to write. Well, when I say currently, I mean like for the past couple years. This is Alexis. This was Kate. I was not happy with this one at all, so that's why I only outlined this one. This was like one of those things where you scribble it on paper and draw what you see. I did this a couple of years ago before I even started the sketchbook. I just found it one day and just taped it in here because I hated this page, so I wanted to cover it up because this was... Oh, this page was left blank, and like while I was like halfway through the sketchbook, I came back and filled this in because I was trying to create the alter ego for a superhero I created later in the sketchbook. This was me trying to draw a tree, but it was taking me forever, so I just didn't end up finishing that. Then here were two of the stickers that were on the sketchbook that got water damage, so they didn't like stick good anymore. But I love this one. It's so cute. Fancy ghost. Here's a superhero I was trying to create the alter ego for. So this is, I haven't figured out her name yet, but she is a girl who like was very like nerdy and nice. Maybe I shouldn't like be saying all the backstory in case I make a story with it. I just remember when I made this page, I was at my grandparents' cabin and I was so happy with this. Like, unbelievably happy with this. Still am. It's one of my favorite pages in the sketchbook. Here was me planning out her comic. It's kind of sad because like, she, somebody threw a ball of paper at her and like laughing at her. But here was her finished design of her alter ego because I just need to like explain this part at least. One of the consequences of becoming this superhero is that when she turns into the superhero, she becomes very like angsty and very like serious but like she's the complete opposite of that when she's her regular self this this is something i do every once in a while when i feel like a just sudden like art block like, i'm not inspired to draw or anything i just grab whatever art supplies i feel like and put on the paper whatever i feel like and then it puts me out of art block i drew this like right after and I was so happy with this. Not happy with this at all. I hate that. Um, and this as well. And this. I just like these two pretty much. And I, like, I didn't want to draw hands there, so I just, um, made them explode into flower petals. This is still one of my favorite drawings in the whole entire sketchbook. Okay. Then here. I was, like, really nervous to go to my new school. So I just drew this comic about it. Then here, drew myself. Here was my original character, the witchy girl again. This I was drawing while I was at a park. I saw some flowers, so I just drew that. Here is one of the other superheroes from that comic. She's a raccoon dog. It's a real thing. It looks like this. It's super cute. Then I drew some eyeballs, and this one was Tara. 
she was the other girl. She was a fox girl. I changed all their costumes later though because like this seems very impractical to fight in. Like a corset, a sweater, and a fur coat, and whatever this outfit is. So I changed that later. Then here I just messed up on these things so I covered up and drew in another one of those pages where I draw whatever I feel like. And I did some washi tape swatches. This was for a tutorial how to draw a face that I made and posted on Pinterest. Don't really post things on Pinterest anymore though just cause it seems like Pinterest is sort of like dead. I just did a bunch of pencil sketches and then outlined it in this color that fit the theme. I love it, especially that one. I love that one so much. And here were my sketchbook goals. Then I drew a bunch of little mushroom fries and a poem to go along with it. This is another superhero I created. This was for a school project. This was a page that I drew as a character who looked very fun to draw and for my brother. But this one, that was the most fun to draw. It's really funny. Here was a book I got from the library, How to Draw Dogs and Cats. So this is another character from that comic that I was doing. I never finished his design, but it's going to look something like that. This was so much fun. It took me like three days to draw this. I love that. Besides that guy. I don't know what I was thinking of him. I drew a bunch of cats and colored them and did a search and find based on them. Um, this was a drawing I did and I put in the copier and the copy turned out all wonky. Here's a Bible verse. And here were three characters from movies I was trying to turn into actual characters and I hated this drawing so much that I had to cover it up. This was for one of my YouTube videos, the redrawing my old characters. This was for the school project. I was trying to like create a story for it. I was watching a YouTuber draw and I was drawing how they draw. Um, this was my spider Sona, Spidey Girl. She is pink and blue and she's got a utility belt with a camera, web fluid, a police scanner slash tracking device, a pouch filled with spidey trackers and spidey trackers. These were like little tiny sp robot spiders that you'd like weave on the criminals and it would track them. And I really want to make a different spider song because this like seems kind of outdated. This, I was watching Hocus Pocus and trying to make modern outfits for all of them. I'm sure you can guess who is who. I was like planning on making them a modern book and a poison, so a poison hydro flask and an eye book. It's got an eyeball on it like the book does. And here I was drawing myself in different movie styles and everything. I like this one the best. This was some characters from a Dungeons and Dragons type game, but this is the character I always am, so I wanted to make him in a very dynamic pose, so I made him like that. Goots Magoots, he's my favorite character ever. I was trying to design my own character for it. Did not turn out the greatest, though. Then I drew this when I was sick, so it's me, sick, with my new dog very unproportional for me like she's like the size of my eyeball i don't know here's my dog again the sketch of it was drawn at my grandma's house like all these were but then i colored it and did the whole line art in my drawing my dog as a cartoon video whatever it's called here i was trying to draw anatomy and then here's an eyeball um fan art from a book uh, then 
I cutified one of my scary Halloween decorations outside. I hate Halloween, I hate scary things, so I made it a cute thing. Another doodle I drew while my brother was at his basketball. Then I drew an eyeball and stuck that there. I was trying to draw like stuff with like mixed media. So I used a bunch of different stuff in this drawing. Um, this is a character I created at school. I remember really liking that one, but <laughs> now looking back at it, it's, it's kind of weird. Her name is Maria of Magisteel. For this one, I was just like drawing an alien and then my little cousin like started giving me ideas of what to do and it kept getting crazier and crazier until it ended up being like this. I know it looks really weird and everything, but it was a lot of fun to draw it. But basically it was this alien crash landed into this girl's bedroom and it um, started putting on random clothes she found to like fit in with the earthlings and it ended up looking like this and contaminated her dog with this like alienness and she woke up and says is that my clothes pretty sure the proper grammar though is are those my clothes so and it, the dog is talking to her same thing happened over here but instead i just turned my cousin's dog into a unicorn dog it's kind of weird looking over here i was watching my favorite movie and i sketched some of this stuff my favorite is definitely that one i think i also like that one then over here i was at my brother's basketball again and I drew this because I was bored. I often draw there. This was like the beginning of December and I was in a Christmas mood. So I drew Christmassy stuff. I drew around paper packages tied up with strings, cardinals, hot chocolate, a bunch of random stuff, stocking full of coal. This dog, I love that so much. I'm so proud that I didn't have to use a reference for that. And this is my dad's like favorite thing ever. The potato man slash snow potato. It's like, it was a weird idea. It was like supposed to be a snowman but a potato. It looks kind of weird though. And then I made this OC Holly. She's a Christmas elf. Then over here I drew Holly again. I don't like this drawing very much though. Wrote some stuff about her and did a little comic. Um. And here was the other elf in the comic. His name is Ginger Snap. This, I was playing around with my art style while I was, I think I was at my brother's basketball again. And this was me redrawing one of my first like mermaid drawings, I guess. I love this page so much. Um, This was me drawing some stuff in like a different youtuber's art style and then i kind of like adapted that style to fit me i guess i did this in a video it was drawing e cute equestrian girls part one where i redrew my oc mabel and created a friend for her I was really set on the name Chrissy for her, but I did a poll on my like community posts and everybody said that Autumn would be the best name for her, so her name is Autumn. Some more doodles. These were two OCs I made. I didn't really like draw them again after this though. I just like drew them really quickly and made like a kind of story for them. I don't know. This is Brittany Morgan. She is supposed to be like the popular girl at the school. And then this is Tim. I was like trying to make him mysterious, I guess, but giving him like naturally white hair, no last name. He just happens to have the same birthday as her. I don't know. And then I drew this um, 
this thing it's like a comic strip but it was like supposed to be like one of those like photo booth type camera um picture rolls i was at my brother's basketball again when i drew all this i was like i was redrawing the she pack that's why i called these three girls but like i said earlier their outfits are a bit impractical and strange so i redesigned them in a chibi version and gave them different clothes i think that it makes a lot more sense now though um then i was like doing color theory trying to like make their colors all contrasting and fit their personality i think i did that good so then next was some fan art of one of my favorite shows ever. I love this drawing so much. I was like drawing some characters in my own style and then I just drew like it from the original TV series style. That's why uh, Mabel's saying ain't so high and mighty anymore. Mabel's my favorite character of the show and comment below if you know what show I'm talking about. I'd like to know if there are any other fans of that show out there. This is me. I was like trying to finish the sketchbook by um, 2023. I drew this on December 18th and I had 43 pages left and I was saying, I can do this. I can finish it by the time I need to. I don't think I, I, I didn't end up finishing it when I wanted to. <laughs> I love this page so much. This is... The creation of Buddy Blizzard. He is my, my probably favorite OC. Um, he doesn't look quite like this anymore. He looks more like this. That was supposed to be his dad. He is my dad's favorite character I've ever made. He now has his own YouTube channel. Buddy Blizzard, I mean, not my dad. This is my one of my favorite OCs as well, Felix. I used watercolor and colored pencil for this. I really like this, but I was so upset that the oil pestles on this page like transferred to the other page. So now there's a bunch of like smears and smudges all over it. And here's more Buddy Blizzard. I like this page a lot because he's in his cave and he's saying, I hate Mondays. And he's like in his bathrobe drinking some coffee. Who doesn't exist now when he's riding a unicorn. He took a picture of Mount Everest and he's saying, oh man, I had my fall over the lens of the camera. Then it, the colors started transferring on this page too, so I had to put this in between it. He's saying these cheeps are tasty instead of these chips are tasty. I don't know why. And here's a picture of him and his cousin Bigfoot. And here's a family portrait. Ooh, this is one of my other OCs. Haven't drawn her since I did the spill art. I created her for a draw your own, well, create your own character challenge. It was like, if you like dogs rather than cats, then make them have pink hair, like stuff like that. And I ended up creating her. Next is this page. I used three pink markers to try and make this like, aesthetic pink spread but I made it this was like one of the first drawings I did in the sketchbook I just didn't draw it in the front just because I thought that like I should make my more finished illustrations further down in the book this was from drawing cutie question girls part two this was the day before Christmas Eve and I just wrote oh holy night oh night divine with a Christmas star this was on Christmas Eve. I was not, I was like feeling like Christmas was coming by so fast. I wasn't ready for it. So I just like drew some Christmas stuff to like get me in the Christmas spirit. So I drew myself saying it can't be Christmas Eve already. And I love this drawing so much. I kind of wish I drew like that now. And I also really like this chibi me. I'm saying it's so beautiful. I'm like looking at Christmas lights. Here's just a Christmas comic. I drew this on Christmas Day because I just got some paint markers from my grandma. I love these markers very much so I was like testing them out. I was trying to create a character a character like by using this stuff. It's kind of creepy though. <laughs> I, I'm not sure how much I like her. I do like the raccoon though. 
And I like that um, I could use my white gel pens on top of this. So I liked all the highlights I did. I also drew this on Christmas because we just watched Percy Jackson. So I was like drawing myself if I went to Camp Half-Blood. And I took a, a bunch of tests like to see which cabin I'd be in. And uh, I had three different results, but I thought the one was that was most accurate was cabin 14. That was like the rainbow cabin. It's where there's people that like are against fighting, are artists, like rainbows, and pegasuses. Pegasi, I mean. So I just drew that. Then this. I love this page so very much. I was create I, I was like testing out some new art supplies I got. So I just drew some hands. I don't like this one at all. It doesn't look like how it's supposed to. I like this, it's cute. As well as these animals. Not sure how much I like this. It's kind of weird looking. But I like this though because um on this page I created my OC Asher. He is Felix's brother. Um here is the oh this is the page from my brother picks my art supplies video. I do not like these drawings very much at all. If I could pick my own art supplies it would have been better. But yeah it's kind of weird looking this was my spill art i did two youtube shorts part one and part two for this so you can go check that out to see how i did that this was one of those pages again the art block page it's because um i was doing this other create your own character challenge it was like, listen to your playlist, and the first song describes their personality, second song describes their job, things like that. And I ended up making this. It's so creepy. I hated it so much. I covered it up and um, drew all this cute stuff. Here was my Pokemon that was in Pokemon Sword that was like my starter Pokemon. I named him Grookey. Wait, no. I named him Buko. He was a Grookey. And here's a smashed plankton. Here was the mask I designed for the masquerade party I was going to. End up looking like this, pretty close to the original design. And um, dragon, a cat, I love drawing cats like this. Pineapple, I don't know what that was for there. Then this is another OC of mine. This was like a very experimental drawing because I never drew eyes like that before. And I loved it so much, but now I'm trying to like take a step further in my drawing journey and make a new art style for me, I guess, because like I never seem to be happy with just like one art style. Like, I kind of like angry when I like see this page because I'm like, I wish I could draw her that cute now, but when I draw her now, it just doesn't look as good. I like this page a lot. Here is part of my third day challenge. Well, I'm not going to like talk about any of the third day challenge pages because I've already got videos on that. Oh, this. I had my brother go to Lego store for me and buy this minifig. And he, and um, I was like inspired by it. So I just drew this with the Bible verse, fear thou not for I am with thee. Walrus. I like that. Here's the Lego, and here was me drawing in my style. Another third day challenge challenge. Oh no, not this. Okay, so I was watching a movie and I was like trying to draw a character from the movie, but it turned out so horrible because I was like trying to do marker sketches, but I hated it so much I just decided to draw on the rest of the page with my left hand. And I hate this page. I don't like it at all. I was taking a bunch of pastel colors and like, I was just like sitting on the couch and I had this idea, pastel lockers. I drew it and I drew a bunch of other pastel things. And I was like going around my house, like asking people, is this funny, cute or creepy? Pretty much everybody said creepy. I'm sad about that. Cause I was like really hoping that'd look cute, but it does look kind of creepy. I love this hedgehog so much. It is like one of my favorite things in the sketchbook. 
30 day drawing challenge. 30 day drawing challenge. <gasps> Most favorite page in the entire sketchbook is right here. This is my Pokemon trainer card that I drew. And here are my favorite kitties in the world. And a bunch of rainbows and flowers and such. And this page is just so adorable. I love it so much. I can't help but smile every time I look at it. I was trying to redesign the Terror Tot logo on this page. Um, I'm not sure if I am going to completely redesign it or not. Um, I feel like I'm just going to leave it how it is right now. But right now, it does kind of look outdated. So I might switch that. Um, third day drawing challenge. <gasps> One of my other favorite drawings on the, in the sketch. So, I created this OC. I haven't signed the name for him yet. But I just like, like him a lot because he's very proper and he's very strange. He's just like funny to look at because he like, like looks creepy because he's a salamander person. That's why he has like those creepy eyes. He looks kind of like a snake in a way. Somebody said to him, I like your lizard pen. And he says, thanks. It's a salamander actually. <laughs> it's just, it's very weird. And then I drew, redrew my OC Asher. I love that drawing so much. Now, all I've been drawing recently is Asher and Felix on literally like everything. On like, I even drew on my midterm, my science midterm. <laughs> all right, so then I developed this like chibi type of style that I like a lot. So I drew Asher and Felix, and then Felix again, who's like sand type something, swinging his legs. This is part of 30 day drawing challenge. Okay, so this, this was one of my last pages of the sketchbook. So sad because like, I wanted to give it a proper send off by redrawing the welcome page, but I just was so angry because like it was turning out so horrible because I am happy with how I draw guys at the moment, but not how I draw girls. So I was trying to switch that up and it turned out looking like this and I hate it so much. So it's Buddy Blizzard and he, he's telling everybody to go away and he's stand, he's like stand top of a giant finished type of word. And he's, it's just so cute. I was like so sad when I drew that page because I was like, it's over. I've been carrying the sketchbook around with me everywhere I go for an entire year. And I have inspiration page right here. Everything I can look at. I All my OCs are in here. All the drawings are in here that I love so much that I'm probably going to forget all about because I can look back at the sketchbook for like probably another year. It's just so sad. But I'm so happy that I can finally move on to a new sketchbook that my groom got me for Christmas that I love so much. So here's my inspiration page. I just print out a bunch of pictures from Pinterest and cut them out and put them on here. And then finally, let's look in the pocket in the back. I drew this. I love this so much because it looks like a little sticker. It's a dinosaur and it's all... I use my glitter pen so it's like kind of shiny but I use like tape to seal it in. Here's just a little doodle of a person. I didn't like him very much so I let my brother name him. He named him Max because he named he he loves the name Max. Aw, I drew this before I even started the sketchbook. It's a little panda unicorn. I took my travel watercolor set to a nature walk and Every once in a while, we would just stop and I'd just like do a rough painting of what I saw, a quick one. So here's trees. And then here was like murky water with a log and trees. And I drew this the same time I drew that panda unicorn. It's a little dapper penguin. Here were some drawing prompts that came off a marker package I just kept in here. Saw this idea on Pinterest. Stare at the dot until you have an idea never used this although when i made it i was like this is such a good idea i'm gonna use it all the time but i didn't oh i drew this at school because i was 
bored because I finished my school assignment and I was waiting for like 30 minutes for the class to be over because it was like an hour and a half long class and I just drew this um this was a drawing game where like you draw the squiggle and then somebody has to make the shape out of a hey, drawing out of the shape and uh, I drew this little dinosaur that fell on his back and he can't get back up so sad then this is a copy of the drawing I was talking about way earlier in the video. The cat girl drawing. I loved this drawing so much at the time. So that is pretty much it for this sketchbook. I'm so sad to leave it behind. But again, I am so happy that I got to start this new sketchbook. Like, look how pretty it is. It is like an actual book, but it's a sketchbook. And it reacts so well with watercolors and pencils. And I'm so excited to try my markers and gouache out on it. But I haven't done that yet. So, I should have another video coming out soon on this week 30 Day Drawing Challenge. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Comment below if you have any other suggestions for my videos. And... I'll see you later. Bye.